so hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the most demanding lab that is configuring im permission with google cloud so click on start lab so sometimes you may face this error just close it and again refresh the browser or just click on start lab so the lab will start now we have to open cloud console incognito window so basically unlike other task where it was signing in automatically here we have to use the username so use the username one and the password for the lab so now click on i understand now click on i agree then I agree and continue now we will activate the cloud shell so click here to activate the cloud shell Meanwhile, in case you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe it and like the video. So now wait for the cloud shell to activate. Now click on continue. Now click on authorize. Now in the description box of this video, I have shared one GitHub repo. So do check it out. Now first of all, we will initiate the SSH session. So for that run this so basically this command initiates the ssh session first of all it exports the zone and region and then it initiates the ssh session so now ssh is live now enter this command basically in this command we have to do some modifications and i will let you know how we will complete this lab so now run it now you have to click on y and then hit enter so now select this link now basically we have to authorize ourselves for using Google Cloud SDK. So now click on continue and then click on allow and copy this key. So now enter it and then hit enter. So finally we are logged in. Now wait for this command to execute. Here we have to do many multiple tasks. So wait for it and do the follow the video step by step. Now here we have to choose any other zone as you can see the current zone. you can see the current zone is different that is US East 4 so copy another zone like you can use C A B anyone so make sure it's different from the current zone now hit enter now here we have to create a new configuration so for creating a new configuration you have to select number 2 and then hit enter so let me show you how we will do now let's see check my progress for some remaining task and whether we get full score or not so basically we won't get full score because we haven't completed the lab yet so you need now to here wait for we it. configure the so click on 2 and then hit enter now we have to name the configuration so basically it will be user 2 so just type user 2 or you can go to task task 4 so as you can see let a minute so finally it's here so you can copy from here user 2 or just type it if you want just fit here and then hit enter now it will create now here we have to select the student id so for that we will move forward to the lab instruction and i will show which student id you have to select so make sure there is only not any other numbers here so here just select the student id 2 number and for project id you will move forward to the lab instruction and i will show you which project id you have to select so basically we have to select project id 1 as you can see make sure to match the numeric numbers as i saw here so as you can see finally it's matching here now just enter 1 and then hit enter so basically it will take some time so wait for it meanwhile hit like the video now we have to modify the im permissions for the service accounts so for that you need to click on the console link as you can see here so just click on it now wait From for here the page to just load. copy the permission principle so as you can see here is the principal just copy carefully select control a and then copy control c and then click on manage resources 
so now here you have to make some modifications for the project id so select the project id and we will verify the project id to here so let's move to the lab instruction as you can see now scroll down a bit the project id 2 is this only make sure to select project id 2 only so now add principal now here just paste the service account username and then for the role click on basic and then select owner now click on save now wait for this policy to get updated now here select y and then hit enter we will get error because we have to select capital y here so just use capital y here and then hit enter otherwise you may face error and you won't be able to complete the task so now hit enter now wait for these commands to execute here basically it will populate some rules and we will move forward So now here we have to set username 2 so enter the username 2 from lab instruction now for the project id 2 scroll down and as you can see here project id 2 is mentioned now again the zone for virtual machine so vm zone is present on the lab instruction let me show you where it is present so now here you can see the zone is present when we have to create lab to vm instance so as you can see we have to paste here do like i have did in the lab so now here you need Now finally we got full score that's the way we have to complete this lab. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel and thank you.